Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. The year is 1967, my name is Arthur Campbell, and I'm Toby's fireman. I've worked on this little island for a little over six years now. Before I moved here, I was a soldier in the British Army. I didn't like it very much, but I learned a lot of self-defense survival strategies. Our beloved island has fallen to the wrath of dieselization, with our famous engines being scrapped one by one, and there isn't anything we can do about it since of course interference would mean certain death. And the man behind all of this is Dr. Richard Beeching. His plan is to increase the efficiency of railways all over Britain by replacing steam engines with diesel power. The fat control of the second has gone to retirement, leaving the railway without a leader and with it doomed to be overrun by diesel locomotives. At first I thought this island was a safe haven for steam engines. I, I, I guess I was wrong. I guess no one's immune. Good morning, Toby. <sighs> Good morning, Arthur. <sighs> morning. You and Percy be filling in for James and Douglas in the Little Western stand. What? W where are they? Well, you see, they volunteered to go scope out the other railway for some answers. They said they'd be back tomorrow. I, I hope. Oh. But I don't see how gallivanting off to the mainland, without preparation, was a good idea. I know, but if they come back successful, we can use Beeching's plans against him. News spreads quickly around here, and someone will answer our calls. Don't worry, Toby. Everything will be alright. I'm sorry, Henrietta, but I don't think that's the case. The only ones we could rely on is ourselves. I just hope those two will be all right. Me too, Toby. Me too. What the? <gasps> oh god, not him again. After that claw Willy Maniac's last visit, I'm certain he'll cause trouble. Stay strong, old boy. We'll fight these bastards until the end of the line. This isn't the end. This is just the beginning.
Good morning, guys. Morning, Jacob. Morning, Jacob. All right, let's get going to Augsburg. Don't want to be late. That's what Topham would want. Indeed. Come on, old boy. Let's prove those diesels wrong. Right. Tramp again! Hello, Percy. Sorry I'm late. These damn coaches wouldn't cooperate, but I managed to knock some sense into them. Are you finished with your work already? No! I haven't even started! I've ran out of coal! I guess Sam and Greg were in such a hurry to get here that they forgot to refill my bunker. Will you please push me to that coal hopper? Of course. Anything to help a friend in need? But Toby, our train's due out. Oh, don't worry. It will only be a minute. Thank you so much, Toby. <laughs> no problem. You know you shouldn't be blocking both of the station platforms, you old geezer. I am Beeching's private diesel and must keep to time. Now what's gotten into you? You've never been this horrid. Daisy, are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. I've been through way worse since Beeching took over. Uh, you can say that again. Any word from James or Douglas? No, nothing yet. Percy's starting to get worried. I've managed to calm him down, but I'm starting to grow worried myself. Anyways, how's Thomas doing? I know since he's the only steam engine on the island still on normal service, and, well, Edward and his... I know this whole thing is difficult, but I'm sure we'll get through this. I have to pick up Beeching to take him to a meeting on the mainland tonight. If I catch wind on James or Douglas, I'll let you know. Now cheer up, old-timer. Thank you, Daisy. Just be careful. Just because you're a diesel doesn't mean you're safe. Just look at Boko. Or, well, what's left of him. You guys won't believe this. My driver's been chatting with a few signalmen up the line. Apparently there might be an opening at Vickerstown in a few days. It won't be long, but it'll be just enough time for us to squeeze our tenders and bunkers right through. Neville, I understand you want to escape and fulfill that promise from- Don't you say his name! Neville, what the hell has gotten into you? Arthur, please. We were all hurt from his death. Some were just... Hurt a little more than others. God, guys. I, I'm sorry. It's just... Things at the fishing village haven't been too good recently. I've barely done anything since that diesel took over. Worst of all, no one seems to give a damn. All the people I've gotten to know over the years just walk past me as I sit alone in my sheds. It's... it's disgraceful! Despicable! Disgusting! Toby! Toby! 
Arthur, what's going on? It's... it's Daisy. She's been found out. What?! She was caught sneaking Douglas over from the mainland. I, I don't know what happened to her after that as I lost contact with her driver. No. Daisy, you idiot. I told her to be careful. I'm sorry, Toby. But I had to tell you. What the? I just can't believe how easy it all was. Dr. Peaching took this island in just a matter of days! It's really quite pathetic. It was almost as easy as taking care of that red lump of scrap iron. You bastard! He didn't deserve what that claw-wielding maniac did to him! I'll make sure you burn in hell for what you did! Mark my words. Once I find a steamer that Old Slowcoach tried sneaking over here and make sure to get the scrappy data, sir. Douglas, are you alright? Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. What the bloody hell do you think? Alright, alright, no need to get snippy. It's just, I've never seen you like that. Where's James and Daisy? I... I... What the hell? Booby... I'm sorry... I couldn't save them... Come on James! Move that tender of yours and hurry up! We have to get to Soda to warn the others! I'm going as fast as I can! I barely have enough water, and I'm not risking the chance of blowing up! It's bad enough, I have to go tender first! Now keep quiet before- oh. <coughs> Bloody hell, James! Hurry! Hurry! I thought after what happened to your number three, you steamies would have learned that hiding would only make your inevitable fate more painful. Tread carefully, James. These are dark times. Fight for our home. Fight for our right to live, no matter the cost, and never give up.
You keep my friend's name out of your oil-filled mouth! You know, even when you're about to die, you're still as hot-headed and cocky as ever. Twinkle Toes Jr. isn't here to save you this time. <laughs> so what's your move? I'm going to make sure you and that claw of yours burn in hell. That'll be quite difficult to do, since you'll be the one who burns! <laughs> 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 Ah, oh, I love my job. A little bit of loneliness, a little bit of disregard, handful of complaints, but I can't help the fact that everyone can see these scars. I what I want you to want, what I want you to feel, but it's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you to just believe this is real. So But you don't understand, I do what I can Sometimes it don't make sense so, I'm watching you, 